What are you doing up there? I'm trying to start this pile of easy stuff. That manly saw you have? This is a classic case of don't let the salesman sell you the easy start. <laughs> I forget honestly how to start this thing. <laughs> oh, we're getting somewhere. Well, I'm pretty sure they say not to do this in the instruction manual, but uh, yeah, why not, right? Adjustable top. Who, who wants a hand crank? It's way better. Oh, wow. Just have to help it out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I should stay right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, well, purchase, free, free of purchase with every Husky toolbox, you get a Milwaukee with a uh, Allen, so you don't have to spend four years doing that. Oh, wow. <laughs> On this episode, if we break the top off a Husky toolbox... Who is this guy over here? Who even is this guy? Dude, where'd your hair go, dude? Wow. Where'd my hair go? We both got haircuts. We both got haircuts for you guys. Hit the like button right now if you guys wanted to see me and Michael get haircuts. It, it, uh, Michael, how do you feel? Lighter. Feel lighter. We definitely lost a couple pounds in in the uh, top section up here. Uh, we've been we've been growing our hair out. A lot of you guys have had some stuff to say about the haircuts. Well, guess what? Now we got haircuts and we got a new hat on. Hey, nice shirt, dude. Nice new shirt. Don't mind this mess over here. Not, not was not my intention, but Michael's sitting over there in our uh, in our pout chair over there. But anyway, guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is going to be a cool video. Something we've wanted to do for a little while. We're going to be comparing some toolboxes here, going over some differences, doing some stories. So hit the like button if you ha if you have not already. Subscribe if you have not already, and leave some comments down below in this video on some of your toolbox experience. Maybe something that you agree with us. Maybe something that you disagree, maybe a point that we missed, leave some comments down below, would be greatly appreciated. But before we jump into this, we've got a couple couple announcements here in the beginning. You guys know I gotta, gotta hit you. Stay with me, I promise it'll be worth it. But anyway, if this is not a first video on the channel, you guys probably already know the deal. If you're not, I'm gonna give you the quick rundown. This is actually the Wrenchworks Giveaway Toolbox number three. It is now live as you are watching this. This fully loaded snap-on toolbox is going to one of you guys Every dollar, we change it up, every dollar that you spend between now and the 22nd on wrenchworks.com counts as automatic entries for the loaded toolbox. So this toolbox going to one of you guys, it's, it's awesome. Is it not awesome? It's awesome. This has got, this is our biggest toolbox, our most tools in the toolbox that we have ever, ever done. Super excited. You guys know Wrenchworks, the whole meaning behind it is to uh, have you guys out there working with your own two hands in the garage, knocking it out. My whole uh, premise behind the toolboxes is to further you guys any which way we possibly can, and I think that tools is the ultimate way to do that. It's gonna help you accelerate to the next level. Whatever you wanna do, whether it's cars, trucks, dirt bikes, doesn't matter. Everybody uses tools. I don't care if you're fixing your, your wife's refrigerator. So toolbox giveaway number three is live. It is the best way to support the channel, to support your boys, Greg A and Silent Mike. So make sure you're, even if you guys don't like toolboxes, I mean, who wouldn't wanna win this? I mean, I'm sure it would, sure it would bring some, some good cash on Marketplace. But anyway, support your boys uh, and, it really does help with the channel and all that. But anyway, let's get into the toolbox. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a quick tour 
of the toolbox before we start comparing it to quite possibly the cheapest triple bank ever that we have ever encountered. So versus one another coming up soon, but let's go over these drawers really quick here. Of course, up top, I always like my sockets. And again, you guys can figure it whichever way you want after you win. By the way, I forgot to mention this. If you place your order within the first weekend, so I believe this is going up on Thursday through Sunday, so three or four days there, we got two special winners inside of the giveaway that we, that are going to be selected. Number one, number one winner is going to get to hang out with me and Sal and Mike for a day, maybe two. We can do whatever you want. We're going to pick somebody random. You're going to come out here, if whether you want to drive, fly, whatever, we'll get you out here and you're going to hang out. Maybe we can go racing. Maybe we can do whatever, whatever you want, but you're going to get a chance to come hang out here. I'm really excited. Uh, I want to meet you guys. I love meeting you guys at shows. So what better way? So one person, if you get your orders in, so make sure you get them in quick. It also gets your orders out the quickest if you get them in quick. So other than that, the second person we've got here, we are are gonna give you this Milwaukee impact set half inch impact set metric and standard so get those orders in we've got two two prizes if you get them in quick so first drawer anyway we're gonna do this real quick so we can get to the meat and potatoes sockets wrenches normal and ratcheting right here we've got our CDI snap-on torque wrenches pry bars got to have your uh, Torx Allen sockets all that good stuff this thing is full we got screwdrivers, we've got precision screwdrivers, we've got cutters, we've got oil filter wrenches. These are new, I've actually, every time I go on Milwaukee's website, I find new stuff. We've got their extractor right here for you guys that are uh, breaking off stuff, need to get stuff out. Got some screwdriver bits, pliers and such, cutters, vice grips, the fit, the fit, the fits them all, just in case you need to break into, you know, it's something right there. You got some bolt cutters. Here's where it gets good, full M12 and M18 line. We've got the fuel stuff, we've got the stubby right here. We've got all of the good stuff. We've got the ratchets that we abuse the crap out of here. This is something cool. I wanted to throw this in. We, there's stuff in this toolbox that we don't even have here, and I'll say it again, I really, I hand select all this stuff in these toolboxes, and I go down and I'm like, Man, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. And we put it in here for you guys. So we still don't have a cordless grinder in our own shop. We still don't have a, um, a battery-powered grease gun. We've got the best uh, uh, digital uh, tire inflator gauge that I think is out there. But yeah, guys, this toolbox is awesome. We've got the uh, rack system. So we've got we've got the good we've got the good stuff in here for the fuel. We got the big half inch impact here right inside these nice drawers. This thing, I don't think I could ever own a toolbox again without some type of power drawer. So we've got the power drawer in there for you guys. Lots of stuff in all of this stuff trying to go through this as quickly as possible, but man, this is this is more than a starter box. This has got quite a bit of stuff. Hammers are when you get angry. Slightly less uh, deadly hammers when you're not that angry. And we've got our cordless circular saw. I love these rack systems that Snap-on does, so we had to get that for you guys. Hooks, bins, put all your stuff in there. And yeah, that is the giveaway toolbox. One thing I will note that I think is really, really cool that Snap-on does is if you're not a fan of this orange, which I personally am, I think it's really cool. It's actually a limited edition color that they just came out with. You can actually change the trim. So this is a storm gray, uh, I would think that's what they call it, destroyer gray type color. I'm not sure how it's coming across on the camera, but it is a really, really cool gray. You can change this trim. So if you wanted to go to black trim and orange wasn't your thing, the trim kits for these boxes are not that bad and you could go right to gray and all black. So real quick, we've got some new designs. We have got the wrench and piston design. That is a brand new shirt, multiple colors. Guys, we have so many. Uh, am, I, am I going like auctioneer speed here? I need to, whew. I think that was one breath. That was one breath. You know, Michael went and got me a monster before we before we uh, before we did this. So excuse me if I'm going a mile a minute. I swear we're going to slow down. I just want to get through this stuff for you guys. You know, everybody wants to everybody wants to see me jump on that bottom that bottom drawer and see what happens there. I don't think we're going to do that. But 
Anyway, piston and wrench shirt here, multiple colors. This shirt is my new fave. We've got the Cummins block, the outline of the Cummins block. Check it out. It is really, really cool. I love this shirt. Again, multiple colors. There's the front, simple front. We've got our Daytona stuff. So we've been to a couple shows that, oh, the show. That's what I forgot, the show. This weekend, we will be at Atlantic City, New Jersey, the Atlantic City truck meet. It is going to be an awesome time. If you guys come out and get stuff for uh, at the event, it does count towards this. So if you guys are gonna be there, you can grab stuff. We don't have the new stuff there, but anyway, come out and grab some stuff. We're gonna be at the show all weekend long. It's gonna be awesome, super great time. First show that I've been back up north to. So we've got the Cummins engine block design. And we've got our front logo design. You guys have probably seen me wear this shirt a ton. I've, we have not ever had these on the website. And we've got so many hats that I, I don't even know what you compare it to. But these new, check out these new black badges. This is so cool. I really, really love our leather badges. So we kind of switched it up. You guys know all black everything. So we've got the black badge on multiple, multiple different hats. So again, spend some time on wrenchworks.com, all of the new stuff. We have got, finally have the sun hats on there. Sun hats with the new black badges. We've got all new koozies. There is just tons and tons of stuff. Oh, the oil caps are back. Very limited oil caps. And we actually have these Dodge uh, fuel caps. Dodges, you know, they didn't, ha you know, me and Michael were just talking about it. The Michael's Ford over here, they actually have a fuel cap. You know, Dodge had to cut the budget, so they don't even have a fuel cap. So this saves a bunch of crap from going in your fuel tank. So we've got Wrenchworks fuel caps, very, very limited on those. But anyway, get those orders in the first couple days. And we appreciate you guys so much for supporting it and cannot wait to see who wins this. Like I said, this is our third one uh, and it has been awesome every single time. So grab those entries and we are finally ready to start comparing toolboxes. What do you say? Michael, how many toolboxes have you owned in your, in your life? Now, Michael, Michael only has his roll cart here, but Michael actually does own a sub pretty substantial toolbox. Like what, a tool carts in boxes? Or? Oh sure, let's just start from when you were a young lad, young chap. You know, how did you get into your first toolbox? And where are you at now with toolboxes? Uh, I got my first toolbox from like a birthday gift from like my mom and my grandpa. And it was a Craftsman toolbox, just real generic. And then I think when I started like working full time, I stepped up to a snap-on toolbox. I think mm. that's where it comes down to. Like you pull the drawers in and out a hundred times a day, like they start kind of fading and wearing and you can feel the quality. So you so you started with a craftsman mm -hmm. before you went into a shop setting, went into a shop setting, then a snap-on route was obviously around, right? Yep, uh, I went directly to snap-on. It was a double bank, like KRL series. Mm -hmm. And you know, you struggle to make that payment every, every week. Mm -hmm. so that's about it. And then you upgraded from there yep. one or time or two? Yeah, or? I got a triple bank after that. Um, it was when like the colors were kind of goofy, so like they didn't make my top hutch in, a, in that grabber green at the time. Mm. So I bought a red one. Mm. And that's the one you have now? Mm -hmm. And did you buy the hutches and everything, the side lockers, like additionally over time? Yep. I was yep. going to say, we don't have it here to show you, but Michael's, Michael's box is substantial. It's, it's up here and you've got lockers on either side, right? Yep. It's yeah. a triple bank, a hutch. Two lockers, two lockers, and then two storage banks. Yeah, you got, you got, you got a hutch, and then you got above the hutch. Well, so real quick, I just wanted to talk about backgrounds because sometimes when we get into toolboxes, you know, uh, previous kind of how you got into the box that you're at plays into it. Um, if you're starting out from from nothing, and it really maybe comes down to what you're doing. So one thing that I want to get off right off the bat is uh, there's gonna be a wide variety of people who are watching this video, and maybe you are young just starting out or maybe you're not even there to start out yet maybe you're in the middle um and maybe maybe you're at the top and it really toolboxes at the end of the day guys is literally a box to put your tools in uh your skill level uh and uh the actual quality of tools that you have are are possibly a little more important than just the box that holds your tools the the toolbox that you have will not make you any better so you need to go out and you need to get training you need to get the skills um because that's what that's, that's what's gonna make the difference and make you money and uh you know at the end of the day 
it's just a box. So anyway, if you guys have been watching for a little while and excuse the disaster of a mess over here, right? <laughs> are you laughing over there? <laughs> you're like, crap, I didn't know you were going to show them that. So uh, over here, this was actually uh, maybe my second or third toolbox, but we have had this toolbox for a very very long time. It is all kinds of beat up. We have been, we've used it as a table. And then this one we actually purchased, used on a very, very good deal uh, after the fact. And those are my two toolboxes. But the way that I got started in my toolbox journey uh, is uh, after I went to Wyotech, and I don't know if they're still doing it in other schools, but as you graduate, uh, certain tool companies will actually give you like 50% off. So we had some money saved up to do some of my tools and I still have some of those tools in that toolbox. And that's how I kind of got started. I went into something small that I could get for a really, really good deal. And then as I went into a shop uh, for a very brief time, I uh, the Snap-on guy was there. And I've been fortunate to have a very good relationship with all of the Snap-on people that I have dealt with, obviously, you know, Snap-on Ryan, one of my best buddies, uh, he runs a route. So like, I, I've been fortunate. Michael, have you, how, how have your tool man experiences been in relation to how you buy? I think that's almost, you almost buy the person rather than the actual toolbox. Mm -hmm. The guy that shows up every week and warranties broken parts and things like that. I think that's almost as important as, you know, your training and your knowledge and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. How you buy. If you feel comfortable, if you feel loved, if you feel liked, uh, and the, you feel like the person's got your best interest in mind, and maybe they're just a really good salesman, but it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, uh, you know, whatever takes care of you and how you feel is, is important too. So off the top of my head, oh, oh, well, I'm sorry, not off the top of my head. In my opinion, I do think that Snap-on makes one of the nicest toolboxes out there. Now, again, Michael, what is what is your opinion? Do you do you agree with that opinion? Uh, I think there's yes. If money was not an option, and you had every single toolbox manufacturer here, and there was no price tag, and they just said pick one, which one would you pick? For the roll around, come to your shop toolbox setting snap on is the best. Yes. So now we're setting ourselves up here. For all the comments, I can hear, can, hear, can hear people now. Can hear people now. So that's what I mean. Leave some comments down below if you think there's a better toolbox manufacturer. Again, now everyone's in a different spot, and I know that, and I and I believe that. And me and Michael both did not start with really really nice fancy toolboxes. We worked our way up there. Now, no matter, it really just depends on what you're doing. Because to me, I even kind of struggle. Let me let me face you this way, so like I can get your facial facial expression in here. <laughs> To me, if you're not in a shop setting and you're not doing automotive work full time, all the time, opening up those drawers 70 times a day, I don't know if I would ever buy a Snap-on toolbox. Right. Because right here, this Husky toolbox, I needed a toolbox for my man cave. Inside, doing really a little less un-automotive related stuff, but I still needed storage, I still needed a place to put tools. So I went and bought the Husky. The Husky is, I think this is the cheapest triple bank you can buy. It's got a top that comes up and down. I don't know if I would start pounding on this with a big sludge hammer. Whatever mechanisms that are in there, it really just comes down to build quality, in, in my opinion. And I know, like, if you're going to call this the cheapest one out there, we all know that Harbor Freight Icon, uh, U.S. General, whatever you want to call it, makes a box that's comparable to Snap-on at quite a bit of a lesser of a price. So I would say good, better, best, uh, but this is a good alternative to possibly something like this if you're not gonna be doing automotive work all day, every day. Maybe some of the differences aren't worth it to you. So really we're just having a, a discussion on my thoughts and stuff and kind of show you guys maybe a little bit of what the differences are and what you're paying for. Now, again, build quality, we're gonna get into here. Let's just, let's just jump right into it. So this Husky box right here, you can see this drawer is, is kind of folded. It's single layer steel. It's got a little screw here that holds this on. It doesn't have the locking drawers. It kind of just has the easy, the easy shut drawers right here. Whereas on the snap-on drawers, the skinny ones right here, you can see we've got this folded edge here and everything is welded. 
It's got a nice, really nice roller, locking, all that good stuff. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, sir. I might, I might need your assistance for the uh, next demonstration of this. So the other thing, the other thing that Snap-on loves to claim, and I believe that other people will, uh, other toolboxes have really caught up to the quality of Snap-on, in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot of other companies uh, that have kind of replicated and really stepped their game up to compete with Snap-on. And one of the big things that Snap-on has always kind of preached and claimed was their drawer capacities, right? So this top drawer, and I don't have the specs right in front of me, but this top drawer can hold some serious weight. My toolbox is over there. The top drawer is loaded, loaded down. The other thing with the bottom drawers is the bottom drawers on these things are rated to hold some serious weight as well, as opposed to these bottom ones over here. I don't know if the, you know, the, how many times have you seen a Snap-on guy like open up a drawer and like bounce up and down on it? Like it, it, it scares me every time. The Snap-on uh, catalog has a dump truck parked on top of like. So floor. like this bottom one, this bottom one is rated for you to get in there and jump up and down. We're not, so the, yeah, what's, uh, you know, as much, you know, like. I don't even want to do it. Like I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall and break my butt. But we did try to do it with this one, and uh, yeah, we're really just not. So you can see my footprint. It got it like a little halfway, and then uh, we decided that we weren't gonna break anything today. But uh, the other thing that uh, I found very, very interesting, because I called up Ryan, my buddy Snap-on Ryan, who, who runs a Snap-on route, and we were talking about the differences between the two toolboxes, and he brought up some interesting stuff that maybe some of you guys don't know, that maybe, maybe if a lot of you guys aren't in a shop setting, so you have no use for it, but maybe this will kind of, you know, maybe just make you think just a little bit differently. So, and again, I'm speaking to the guys who have a great snap-on guy. I hopefully you guys all have a great snap-on guy. I believe in a shop you always have one tool guy that is not liked over the other one. So it can go both ways, guys. And again, by who you feel comfortable, who's going to take care of you, and maybe that's not snap-on. But uh, Ryan takes care of everybody, in my opinion. Uh, he's a great guy. He told me that the way he likes to operate and work is if you buy a box from him or, or a roll cart, and again, a roll cart is the best. I, Me and Michael, how much do you love your roll cart? Uh, it's, it's all you need. It really is. I love my roll cart. Again, if I could go back, I would get the biggest, baddest roll cart. Deck that baby out. And again, maybe if you're in a dealership setting and you need more room, maybe that's when you do that. But yeah, probably. You know, but for a lot of what we do, man, my I love my roll cart. My roll cart's my baby. Michael, you couldn't buy Michael's roll cart if if you had a million dollars, honestly. So his <laughs> his roll carts. You got foam inserts and everything. So let's, let's, you know, we're really getting off topic here. We're really just rolling with it. This is a laid back video. If you guys really want a technical spec video, this has never been the, never been the channel to get it. Just two guys having fun, building cool stuff. Show them your top drawer because this is, uh, oh, whoo. This is unplanned. I hope there's no, uh. You know, there might be some things in the top drawer that maybe got browsed over, but that's okay. Uh, if you saw what you saw, if you didn't, then good for you. But anyway, look at this foam cutout. This is just, this is the money drawer right here. Mm -hmm. I love my, it. You got metric, you got standard, and then everything in between. These are my favorite things in the world. And these are the, the, those are awesome. You got impact swivel extensions. Mm -hmm. You've, you've planned this out according to, you know, a lot of the work that you've done over the years. Yeah, I've had four tool carts and had it about every configuration and then kind of finally came up with this. And again, who's your Snap-on guy? My Snap-on guy took care of me. JC, if you're out there, he took care of me and did all this for me. Snap-on Ryan was saying to me as we got off on a tangent here was, normally the way Snap-on guys work, and maybe that's different for everybody, and maybe I'm shooting myself in the foot, but uh, I thought it was a good business practice, is if you buy a toolbox or roll cart uh, from from X individual and you buy it from them new, um, you know, what they do, if you want to trade up, they will give you back exactly what you have in that to going towards a new one, which I thought was really, really cool. Cause it really kind of like, hey, you're not losing a ton of money at that point. Like you're paying a little bit of money uh, just to use it and to have it. But if you can upgrade for a little bit of money, then you can expand from that. The other thing that Snap-on does 
that I think is really cool is doesn't matter if you have a classic or any series that they make, they make everything for. So take so take this box. Say you wanted to do a locker, a hutch, or something like that. This this box isn't really set up for that. Maybe the icon or general ones are, but uh the Snap-on series, they make lockers, hutches. If you don't want to upgrade your box, you can still add on to your box. So you've just got more options. The other thing that Snap-on does that is really, really cool is, say you have this box here, but you're like, hey, I don't really want some of these bigger drawers. I'd really like some small drawers. You can change the slides and the configuration of drawers. You can call up, you can get uh, this same color drawer uh, in whatever size, and you can change the drawer configurations and the sliders. All of that stuff can be changed and configured how you want to, no matter what, which I think is really, really cool. A lot of thought goes into the sizing of these three drawers. I really like this configuration. We've got three big, deep drawers. So there's a lot of ergonomics that I think that Snap-on really, really does and really, really thinks about for the automotive guys. You know, the height of this drawer right here is specifically designed so you can have a big wrench standing up on edge. These actually still have the locks in them, but... Yeah, I know, I know, I know. How many, how many times have you seen somebody with a big, like, inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth wrench, and they want to stand it up, but you got to lay them flat because this drawer is not deep enough. So this drawer is, extra, it's, it's not a skinny drawer, but it's not a big, deep drawer. It's designed for bigger wrenches to stand up on end. So there's a lot of those differences. And again, build quality, again, are you paying for a snap-on name. It's built in America. Some other other companies are built in America. Some companies were built here, now they're built over there. I'm not really sure, we're not gonna get into that game, but uh, snap-on, 100% USA, uh, that's important, obviously. Um, but again, are you paying for a name? Leave some comments down below. Are you paying for a name? Can you go to Harbor Freight and get a very good quality box for a fraction of the price? I think the answer is yes. It really just depends on what you're looking for, how fancy you want to get, how cool you want to be. You can't argue that the Snap-on boxes just look and feel like you're just you're just you're just a cool kid. You know, you're just a you're just a cool kid. Uh, but again, it is a toolbox that holds tools. It doesn't make you. I mean, a key gets you to work. Well, That's what I was gonna say. I'd rather drive my Dodge pickup truck. You can daily drive a Ferrari if you want, if you're in that position in your life and that's what you want to do. Or you can have your 50cc scooter over here and bomb in there. And you know what? You probably, you probably got, you know, might, might, have, might save a little bit more pennies in the bank if you, <laughs> if you didn't have to pay the Snap-on Man every time you go in. But the Snap-on Man is like a, like, a, like a kid in a candy store. And, uh, you know, JT and Tavia, if you're, if you're going to watch this, there's a, there's a reason why I don't let you guys come here every single week, and it's because my you know, the only way my checking and my savings is, is set up, you know, uh, the less I see you, the more it stays in there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, but I love you guys. Another thing that we didn't really talk about that I honestly kind of like about the Husky is, and I'm not sure if it was done on purpose or not, is all six of those swivel, and I think the casters are probably more heavy duty on that, but it doesn't sometimes, you know, like you've ever tried to like put a snap-on box right up against the wall, you kind of got to do the shimmy back and forth where this one, you can literally just push right back. What's your opinion on that, sir? Mm -hmm. They fixed that with the Epics. Oh, Epics have, all have swivels? Yeah. Gotcha. Remember when we went to Home Depot and we went to go pick this thing up? Because we got it from Home Depot. This is a Home Depot Husky box. There was five of them, right? How many of them were just tr like they were dinged, dented? This was the we had to hand pick through the five, and that was really just from them transporting them and loading them. Yeah, we had to pull all four of them out of the way to get this one. So I, I feel like this one might get scratched, but the thickness material of the metal used in the snap-on boxes and again the icon the general we don't have one here to compare if you think we should and we should maybe we should do some torture tests maybe we should you know that's that's a good idea maybe we should get some tannerite and like put them inside the boxes see which one holds up the best leave some comments down hit the like button if you think we should uh, i'm really really prying for your likes here on this video and that's it that's all, that's all she gets <laughs> tough
Totaled. Absolutely totaled. <laughs> What's the key to sharpen your chain there? <laughs> you know, that's all she's got in her. What can I say? <laughs> well, win a toolbox. <laughs> you guys want this one. You don't want this one. This one is just, this one's destroyed. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if we can return it. <laughs> By the way, what do you guys think about different chainsaws? Michael seems to think that this would be a hot topic to discuss. Whether you think Stihil, Stihil is a good brand or not. Maybe Husk, Husqvarna? Suckavarna. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! I'll have to edit that out, sorry. Hey. Tell us how you really feel, Michelle. <laughs> what? <laughs> But uh, that would be cool. Who doesn't want to see some blown up toolboxes, some torture testing? You get some sludge hammers, get the lab coats out, science, things, stuff, experiments. We should. We're going to go right now. Michael just said we should drive. We should go get more Husky boxes and see if the adjustable tops will hold a full truck. Give this video a thumbs up if you think we should do it. How many, how many likes? How many likes do we need to get to do it? 5,000 likes. This video gets 5,000 likes. We will destroy some Husky, to I mean, test out some Husky toolboxes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. Sometimes it's not always the best of the best. Sometimes it's the best for your dollar. Yes. That is what we said. Yeah, in the situation that you're in, it's the best bang for your buck. Best bang for your buck. So maybe this buck isn't gonna go as far. And sometimes you gotta, like we, Michael was basically just talking about the welders. Take the welders, for example. Yeah. Look at the quality that we produce with an $800 welder. It's not a fancy Miller. So you can do more with less. Alrighty guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. Not really a very technical video like I mentioned here before, right Michael? No, no technical specs, just kind of two guys who have been into it for a while, their, their opinion. So again, you can leave your opinion down below. That would be, that would be wonderful. We can all learn from each other down there. Um, but anyway, there's no, there's no relationship between uh, Husky or Snap-on and I. Uh, I actually, we get Snap-on boxes for the giveaway because I truly believe that they are the best. I'm not gonna give you something that I don't think is the best. Kind of one point that I forgot to mention, if you guys have ever bought anything from Wrenchworks from the giveaway, just because there's a giveaway involved with this awesome toolbox does not mean that you are gonna get a piece of crap t-shirt, hat, or anything else. We do nothing but top quality here. Anyone who has bought anything can attest to that down below in the comments. Uh, the sweatshirts, the t-shirts, everything, the hats. If it's a piece of crap, I don't want it on my website, so we don't buy it. We don't purchase it. Just like if I want you guys to have the best toolbox, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and you guys are gonna get a Snap-on toolbox. That's why we've only given away Snap-on toolboxes. It's not because I have any relationship with anybody, but that is just our opinion, guys. That is gonna wrap it up. You guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. Come see us out at the Atlantic City Truck Meet. Grab some of the stuff to count for the giveaway and we will see you guys in the next video. We've got some good videos coming down the pipeline. We've got a bunch of trips that we have already filmed for you guys. So make sure you guys are subscribed, stay tuned. Lots of action coming your way. And I will see you guys in the next video. Go get entered. I'm not gonna tell you again, just do it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you, bye.